Lindsay, great job in the sales meeting. Hey, do you have a pad I can borrow? Sure, here you go. No, you know, the other kind of pad. I can't believe you still use maxi pads. I know, I just, I have a narrow cervix, and so it's painful for me to insist. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I meant, why use a maxi pad when there's the new iPad from Apple? <laughs> iPad? With the new iPad? I just hook up my apple to my peach. And I can download protection for up to a thousand periods. I like that. And with wireless Bluetooth technology, iPad sets you up for fast uploading without all that water bloating. Oh, wow, that's great. But what if my computer has a virus? Don't worry. Each iPad comes pre-installed with vaginal firewall protection. Awesome. Hi, welcome back to episode number 20 of No Title, No Name. My name's Rusty. It's Alan over there hanging out. Hey, I know it's been a while. Um, there's been a, some things that have come out. Nothing really big. Just, Nothing really big. Yeah, it's this thing called Did the you? iPad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that the, the video we just played explains it all. Um, that's... What if I just, uh, just stick that story to you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's just the worst name ever. I Did mean, they not see that mad video clip that was out at from least two thousand and six? I yeah. think it's a two, if if you have a company or if you have a skit, especially Mad TV, because there's SNL and then there's like Mad TV, like down here somewhere. I mean, they're funny, but if it's like down here, and if they're making fun of you and you use the name. There's something wrong. Did you not watch the video, Steve Jobs? I'm sorry. They're probably, you know he has all his workers in a dungeon anyway with a <laughs> chain around their ankle. <laughs> Just the worst name ever. But anyway, what are your, what are your thoughts? You, you haven't touched one yet. You're, you're probably not going to buy one because I know I'm not going to buy one. Um, but what are your thoughts? Well, if Apple, if you want to send me one and prove me wrong, <laughs> the address will be at the end of the screen. <laughs> um, uh, I think it's useless. I think they were rushed because, you know, there's just speculation, you know, Apple tablet, Apple tablet. You know, the villagers had the pitchforks, they had the torches just banging on the door. You know, we want a tablet, we want a tablet. We don't care if Steve Jobs is in the hospital. Get your old tail up and make us a tablet. <laughs> I mean, even watching, uh, I watched a little bit of that, the address, you know, when he, when he brought it out, he didn't even look that enthused about it. Yeah. Because he's excited. You know, he's usually excited about things. Remember the, the Nano came out. He pulled it out of his pocket. You know, a thousand songs. Yeah, he's like, uh, let's see here. Oh, I'll come on, where's mine? He was like, yeah, so uh, a thousand songs in your pocket. Excited. When the, uh, <laughs> when the iPhone came out, you know, he said, it's an iPod. It's a phone. It's an iPod. It's a phone. He was excited about it. Yeah. And we brought the two together. Yeah. Exactly. And, you know, we watched that. Yeah. You know, that whole five-hour show, you know. This was just useless. Yeah. It, it was it was a painful hour and a half, and I'm so glad that I watched it via blog posts and live uh, live chat and live blog uh, via Engadget. Um, but, I mean, it... it hmm. um, I mean, let's go over some things that it doesn't have. What does it not have? Um... Can't run multiple apps. Okay. It doesn't. You can't. No camera. Well, you just said you just said camera. No camera and multiple apps. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, camera. I could see multiple apps. You can have multiple apps on there. You just can't run them all at the same time. Yeah. I mean, well, well I mean, I don't know what people want to do with this, but what I would want to do with it, with that big, was watch videos. You can watch videos on there. You can watch a movie. From Flash. No, but the movies that you download, that you buy off the iTunes store, I mean, There it's... you go. That I buy off the iTunes store. <laughs> or you can copy your DVDs for those of you that know how to, you know, check, transcode your DVDs into MP4s or MPV, or I forget what the, it's MPEG-4 video, but I mean, take it off the shelf, drop it in your disc, and, you know, use Handbrake or whatever it is that you use to encode the video. Do you think that's the market this is for? No. It, I mean... This is for Sunday afternoon readers. Yeah. Um, will you buy one? Me? Yes. No. 
Um, okay. It would really have to blow everything out of the water. Yeah, and, and, and as I've, I've seen in other podcasts, when the iPod hit, there were thousands of other MP3 players out there. Mm-hmm. But iPod did it simple, made it quick, made it easy, and everybody wanted an iPod. You, uh, even you talked about the Will Smith video. You know, you didn't know what it was, but Will Smith had one, and you were like, "What's an iPod?" And you, you know, yeah, that was version was, one, exactly. Um, and we've come such a long way. Um, and then what was next? The iPhone, I guess. Yeah, the, I guess the iPhone. Yeah, he started, you know, with the iPod Minis, the yeah, iPod Nanos, exactly. And, and you know, and then the iPhone came along, and he literally looked at the market and said, "All this is crap." I want to do my own thing. I don't want Verizon's crap on it. I don't want AT and T's. I don't, I don't want none of this, you know, proprietary crap. Mm-hmm. I want my own <laughs> Apple proprietary crap on there. But he did it in such a way that he was like, you know what? This is going to be our phone, and this is what's going to be, and we're going to blow them all out of the water. And what did he do? Boom! He blew them all out of the water. I still give him that with this because when the when that iPhone first came out, you didn't think about, well, hey, I'm going to have a a bank application. I'm going to have a restaurant application, I'm going to have a car application, I'm going to have a check my vitals application, you know, it's everything, you yeah. know, game application. He, this, he knew yeah. that, that, that that's what this is going to do, so he has something cooking. Yeah, this, and I, I agree, this is a very 1.0 product, it's very, I, I, I can see down the road, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4, uh, maybe being this awesome thing, maybe they can even... I don't know if the technology is there because I know e ink is one thing and LCD monitors is another, but maybe they can converge both yeah. of them so that while you're watching movies, it's an LCD. And if you want to read a book, mm-hmm. you flip over to e ink or whatever and you can read your books because that's the big thing is they're, they're touting these iBooks. But the thing is, the one thing that everybody is talking about that they did not talk about very much at the thing is the new processor. The A4 processor. They bought the uh, microprocessing company. I forget what the name of it was, but now they've produced their own, mm-hmm. you know, thing, and that could be part of iPhone 4. Is the new processor, and also you know, about you know OS 10. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's one thing we were all kind of hoping for the iPad to be was because I mean you saw all the renderings we were just looking at them, uh, OS X running on an iPad. That's all what we kind of wanted because mm-hmm. I mean, then you'd have the full, the actual full web flash, yeah. uh, you know, everything running in the background, and you could do everything. But he just gave us a really big iPhone. I've got one. I don't want a, I don't want a big one, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, oh, uh, it's suspicious. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I can see, you know, down the road where he's going to go with this. But the name. The name. <laughs> i, I got to show you the video once we get done of the guys making fun of the name. Because have you, have, do you watch any of the official videos from Apple where he's like, the iPad was just the most magical thing ever. It was just, it, when we made it, it was just so awesome. Blah, blah. And it's the senior vice president. And then they go over to the game guy, and the game guy's like, Oh, this thing is just so much fun when you're playing games, blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's just so intuitive and this and that. And it's the Apple employees, you know, the well, guys... They're, get... they're scared, I told you. They're <laughs> locked up. You don't see on the camera somebody with a whip. <laughs> but, I mean, those those guys are serious. And there's a parody video on YouTube. I'll, I'll put a link up here. Um, and you can watch that video. It's, it's pretty funny. They basically just... The, the guys like the iPad... It, it gives jokes for itself. <laughs> I don't even have to try. <laughs> it's it's a great video to watch. But uh, we were going to talk about something else, but I think we'll hold off until next week until we find out what it is. There's a coming announcement from Microsoft, possibly a new uh, Microsoft Windows Mobile 7 or Windows Series 7, as some of the people have already been touting, mm-hmm. but a new phone that could be like the iPhone, except for Microsoft. And it'll Zoom be, phone. Well... A phone that has Zoom software on it, per se. So, the we'll Zoom how... phone is fun to say. Exactly. So, anyway, hit us up at no title, no name at gmail.com. Stop that. I'm not doing it. And at, uh, at no title, no name, Twitter. Follow us up. We'll see you next week for episode 21.